the best thing you can do is to open your eyes and to open your ears and try to hear what everyone else is doing. If, if that means you play a little bit less, that's cool. Um, but but you, will, you will grow faster and you'll be invited on stage more times if you listen. So in this case, um, I may have played over a piano solo. Um, I noticed it, but again, we're doing for the heart. That's, that's just a little side note. I'm going to start over. play Help Me off of uh, Junior Wells and Buddy Guy live in Montreux. Um, great, great CD. Um, I encourage you to get it. And so I tend to play Help Me the same way in the intro every time. Um, and when he goes to that four chord, Junior did the um, two draw bent. <laughs> okay, so that's what I did. I just bent that So let's keep going, or let's start it over one more time. Stop! Okay, there it goes. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> solo tune. I mean you can get, you can play over it, but I want you guys to recognize that this is turning into a what to do with other people lesson. So in my opinion, uh, you got to be pretty cautious when you're playing and I play a lot of backup harmonica um, behind people, but I caution you younger or newer to harmonica guys from doing this um, because it takes a certain amount I think of consistency. So the best thing to do is, is, is if you have volume control, turn yourself down uh, about two thirds. Okay, we ran out of tape, so this is edited together. But what I was saying, um, hopefully this comes quick, is, um, is, is, is if you're gonna play backup, I mean, you can, you can carve the changes, you can do uh, horn, horn type things, just sort of hits. Or in this case, a tune like Help Me, you can do, um, keep the riff going and help carve the changes but you want to be quieter because the harmonica at, at full volume tends to cut through um, so you want to you, you want to crank that volume back if you have the choice or play softer because whatever soloing it's their spotlight and it's 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 up to you to if you become a side man if you're playing and you're not soloing it's our job to accent or emphasize so in this case the piano solo did uh, did something he played a very um, Go back and listen to it. He played a pretty pretty mellow intro, and then the second 12 bar, he really digs in. And that's where, if you're listening, okay, you can, you can do something simple the first time around. And when somebody builds their solo as a harp player, you know, then as the volume goes up, then you can add. So what I did was I just carved out the change just a little bit, you know, just a couple little hits. And then when he dug in, then I went into the help me lick, and it sort of solidifies um, the... <laughs> 
it adds more weight to it when, when things are sort of going toward crescendo and it builds the power of what you're trying to do. So, sorry Steve, this isn't exactly, this is help me. Go listen to uh, Sonny Boy Williamson, go listen to Junior Wells, um, and you'll figure out how I learned how to do this. But let's listen to that again. This is a great example of, of playing with a band. And I, I, want to, um, I want to capitalize on the moment here, because to, to, they didn't think of this lesson. So, listen, we'll listen to the piano solo. And, and you don't have to play at the beginning of every song. Sometimes you can let it in. You come in like. Just help it a little bit. Mix it up, that's what I'm saying. Okay. You got to help me. Where the piano's going, right? a little bit. A little background. Put something wrong there. Now listen, he digs in here. Hear it? So now would be a good time. Too long, but um, this is one of the things that's a little more advanced. But if you can play with people, you will be a better player. So this is going from total beginner. Now we're talking to the advanced guys. And so I was listening to that solo, and I heard something that I could do on the harmonica, accenting or playing along with him. This is tricky stuff. You want to sort of know people, but. Um, I was able to go back and listen to it. I was able to hit on something with him, and that builds power, that builds interest for the audience. Um, let's see what else we get here. So now it's, it must be our turn, right? Go back to that point. But see, the first half of this track, um, and I don't know where he got them from, but the first half of the track isn't, is that two minutes, 30 seconds? Isn't really for us, right? So Steve out there in, in New Zealand, um, you want to, um, all right, let me pause for a second. Do um, stupid uh, player that I don't really know how to use. So we're gonna go in, the piano solo is gonna end, and then I'm gonna play uh, what I call my solo. So talking about soloing, generally what we, what we try to do um, is sort of make a, story, make a story out of your solo. So most of the time you sort of have an introduction, then you have some sort of conflict. You guys ever took a, a writing class? some sort of resolve. So usually the, the first half of a solo, if you're going to take two 12 bar progressions, you don't always give them a whole lot or maybe you don't do everything you can. Sometimes you do, but um, keep it a little more simple so that you have somewhere to go, something to build into for your um, second 12 bar progression. So that's what I'm going to try to do here is um, try to lay into something very simple and then build the intensity. If this track gives me 24 bars. We'll see.
and so I, I, I hope that that shows you what what my thought process is. Um, but yeah, that's that's helped me, guys. So go back to uh, Sonny Boy Williamson number two, and, uh, and and Junior Wells are my two favorite. But a lot of people have done it, um, and that's where um, if you go to that original version, I'm pretty sure Sonny Boy does that lick that I that I uh, attribute because James Cotton took it from him. Um, <laughs> Okay, so that's enough for today. Um, hopefully we can get these three videos up and uh, satisfy my good buddy in New Zealand and all you other folks with a couple of ideas of uh, what, what I would do uh, over a jam track, um, known and unknown. Okay, thank you guys for watching and uh, keep writing. I've been really busy lately, but I do try to read and respond to as many as I can. Alright, thanks.